Welcome back. We're heading out of a 28 Freeman. You can see the 42 sitting over there. Mike was not booked today, but uh, he had a busy week there. I think they last five, last six or seven days. So he's been out quite a bit, but we're gonna go out and try to catch dinner. Maybe a mutton snap, but there's been some really big muttons caught the last week. And uh, we were gone, so in the video before this, we were in Costa Rica, which you just saw. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a poison dart frog. One lick from one of those and you're a dead man. No, they are actually very poisonous though. And what's really cool about those is that they come out here where there's moisture and they eat fire ants. And that's actually how they get the poison on their skin. They excrete the poison that they absorb from the ants that they eat. So if he's running away, he's not as poisonous as one that's just standing there posted up on you. I'm gonna try to squeeze in one more fishing trip here today. And then I won't be fishing for a couple weeks, but um, hopefully we'll make up for today and then get back out there in mid-April or so, early to mid-April, see how everything's going. We've got the drone up now with Sarah. Landon is on a date in Key West with his girlfriend and maybe his father. Yeah, you definitely and, can't put that out. And maybe his future father-in-law. And uh, hopefully he's having a good time down there. And he's mad at me. Hope you enjoy this clip, Landon. We'll see you out there. Here we go. All right, we just marked some fish there. Good mark on the Garmin there. We're getting rigged up here. We got two bottom rods ready. And uh, obviously there's a number of ways to fish for any fish, especially mutton snapper. We got one live bait on there. We got some pin fishing grunts we brought with us. That we had in the bait cage, and we got some frozen ballyhoo. And we're gonna set out two rods and do a drift here and see what happens. And we may set up on them if we start getting bit, put the rodent in there, you know, the trolling motor, kind of anchor down on them with the trolling motor. But uh, let's get set here and get going. First drift and see what happens. But one nice little ball of fish right there to start. We'll see if uh, there's more in the area. Ballyhoo going down. Throw them out, Throw back them out. on the boat. Yeah, throw them kind of like that way that you can burn it. Oh, got a bite. Oh, I just had a bite. I saw you miss it. Bent over like he was on it. Andrew, avenge me. Yes, yeah, Andrew. Get him. Get him. Wait, 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 wait. Came off. We missed two bites. Angelina's up. As soon as his bottom, just lock it back up again. But make sure you go to strike, like so you have enough drag on it so mm -hmm. you get a bite, yeah, there's enough to hook the fish. Like even up there a little bit more, okay? It's like when you hit bottom, just go all the way back up to there, okay? All the way up here. Yep. So you go and lock it up. I'm just gonna wait you know, a minute or two. There you go. All right, now, you just started wearing polarized glasses, is correct? And is that a big difference? Day. Huge difference, I can't keep going. Keep going. All right. Can't stop. I gave her a pair of my red ink from Smith there. She is yeah. amazed with it when we're running out here, seeing all the colors, the differences in the water. And now she's like, I can't believe I didn't wear polarized glasses before. But now she knows. Andrew's in the back rod. They got us the first drift, but we're going to get them this drift, right? 0 for 1. 0 for 1, Sarah. 0 for 1, Andrew. We're giving one more shot. Or but I give him two more. It could be like baseball, three strikes and you're out. But we're still drifting here. We're marking some stuff right here now in the Garmin there. About 140 feet. And uh, we'll see what happens here. So she's got a pen fathom 30. And he's got a pen torque back here. Both are great reels. And we'll see what happens. So out here drifting along. There's the live well back here in the 28 Freeman. Got a few shrimp. Well, I just lost a couple. Got a couple crabs in there and brought some grunts and a couple pen fish. But we'll uh, see what happens. We want a mutton snapper for dinner. That's the goal.
We have not caught a fish today. It's not looking good for us, but we're gonna pull crab traps. We stopped by the little island out here, which you can see right over there, which has been out here for the last couple of years. And uh, pretty cool. It formed after some storms and uh, it's kind of changed shape and size the last year or so. And they had it where it was a bird nesting area where we couldn't go on it, but it looks like all the signs are down because I see some on it now. And it's a lot smaller than it was six or a year ago, honestly. Six, eight months ago, whatever it was. But uh, Sarah's got the drone up there. She's flying around there, beautiful out here. No fish though, but hopefully get some stone crabs for dinner. And I heard there's steak and chicken in the freezer. Fridge. Freezer. Working the drone magic. So it'll be stone crab pulling here soon. We may stop once or twice more on the way home and try to catch a fish. We don't want to get completely skunked. That'd be bad. That'd be bad for the reputation, right? It would be bad. It could be bad. God forbid someone goes fishing and doesn't catch a fish. We have found Fluffy the dock monster. Hayes, have you been feeding him? Um, yeah. What boat does your dad run? It's Tan Man. Is he the best here? I think so. The giant Goliath grouper is here. We're gonna try to hand feed him. And they're gonna try to fend the birds away because the birds are a nuisance. And let's see if we can get his attention. We got the, oh my gosh. Here he I'm comes. My now. Oh my God, look how big he is. Ah! That scared me. <laughs> Dude, that thing's 300 pounds. He's big, huh, Hayes? You want to go swimming with him? No, I don't either. He's size large. Right? I feel like you can just swallow one of those colors. He, he could eat one of them birds. So if you ever come to Bud and Mary's and you walk the dock, you can feed the tarpon, there's nurse sharks, there's even a couple of Goliath grouper here. Not every day, but most of the time, that one they call Fluffy. And he's big, he's close to 300 pounds, 250, 300. We didn't catch any fish this afternoon, but we're gonna pull our crab traps. So we'll see you on the 28th when we go check our crab traps. And hopefully that's better than fishing was. And there's a tarpon, speak of the devil. Hayes, we fed the monster. Did it. Was that scary? <laughs> Good job, Andrew. So that's a spare crab trap, and it's been a really good season. I think our best season ever, honestly, for stone crabs here. And uh, we just got a spare trap because we do lose a trap or two here and there. They get cut off and you know, break off there. But we got a box of pig's feet. Obviously, we use fish most of the time. We're going to bring some fish, but we got the frozen pig's feet because I was not here to round up bait. and. Uh, we didn't get any, but we're getting some bait right now from Tan Man. Sarah's got it now. It's a big mutton snapper carcass, some jacks, also some kingfish carcasses and yellowtails. And we'll do a combination of pig's feet and some fish. But I hope you enjoyed seeing Fluffy the giant Goliath grouper. He is uh, he's a pretty cool animal here in the marina. And there's all sorts of life here. You can see all the nurse sharks over here eating. And the water's mighty nasty. You can't see all the tarpon, but a bunch of nurse sharks over there. And it's a feeding frenzy here in the afternoon. So stop by Bud and Mary's and Come feed the fish, and even if you ain't going fishing, just come check it out. Oh yeah, nice mud snapper there. We went for a few hours, didn't catch nothing. Not Missed a couple of good bottom bites, that was it. So we're heading back out now. Stone crab time. You always want to mark your traps on here in case they get cut off. You can go find them, so we always mark them as close as we can on the garment there. Just in case, you know, a boat running through the channel cuts them off, or, you know, just in case someone breaks or gets away on it. And that way, when it clears up, you know, you can jump in and find them a lot of times. And it was, it's kind of windy now this afternoon, but a little green water out here. It's so hard to see it, but if it's clear, a lot of times you can see the track from the boat, you know, just that black kind of shadow. We can use a long gaff and get it. But we'll pull them and see how we do. in there. Four. Four crabbies. Looks like a few keepers. And uh, I know a lot of, there's been a big debate about, you know, harvesting, whether it's ethical, ethical or not to take both claws. 
and we just follow the rules and laws and I can promise you if I ever eat stone crab in a restaurant from a commercial boat, you know, that's a plow these restaurants up and on the coast, they take both claws and it's legal so we do it, you know, if they're legal. And every year we definitely catch more crab than no claws than we do with one legal sized claw, so. That's the darkest crab I've ever seen. He is dark, look at him. Yeah, I almost thought it was a different species. That is a dark stone crab. Yeah. This is a special crab. Yeah, he's good. Double. Bye bye, buddy. We need new tongs. Yeah, those are terrible. Very slippery. I don't know what happened to my sure, sure. my other ones. Bye bye, buddy. All right, so we're gonna load this one up with bait. We'll probably put some fish in it, maybe a couple of pig's feet. And the pig's feet last longer. That's why the commercial guys use. Just really, because they don't have, say some of those guys got, you know, 500 or 1,000 traps. They can't get enough fish carcasses to put, you know, bait in 1,000 traps. But we have 10 recreational traps, so we're a very small drop in the bucket of the crab harvest down here in the Florida Keys. Um, but here we go, he's loading them up now, so. Four, 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 yeah. four, two. Yeah, cause that would four plus some fish, right? Yeah. There you go. So, and that's an actual pig foot right there. Oh, piggly wiggly. There you go. Perfect. All right, she's loaded. She's going back in. We'll see how we do on these next uh, nine traps. We got ten total. I think we got four off that one, so that was good. For, good first trap there. We average four per trap. That'll be good. Oh, sorry. Dance. Small too. Yeah, that one's good. He's not. Mm. He's angry. My favorite him, kind of crab. Yeah. Angry. Oh. yeah it's true. You might say that you had them for me, but... Do you trust her? I'm not going in until I know I'm not getting pinched. <laughs> it's all part of the experience, right? Crab season is slowing down, I think. Wow. Well, it was a good run. Yeah. But we thought that last year in April we had a really good pull too, though, so we'll see. Yeah, maybe we just... There you go, oh, my feel, a seasoned veteran. We're gonna try to get right back on that spot there, just so it's as close as possible to the mark there. Let's see where we go. Except I can't do it because it's north up. You can't do it because it's north up? Yeah. I have no idea which way to put the boat to get it back. Well, you're just gonna follow the line. Well, you have to go 152 to go 117. Nope, we're not running out. She can't drive with north up. No one drives with north up except for with your on north, north is always one direction. Wait, north is what? North is always one direction. It doesn't change. That's why we run north oh, up. But yeah, some people well, like heading up. If you were anywhere else in the world, though, north up would be very confusing. Yeah, east run east and west. No, you still use north up. Yeah. Oh, now they're, they're revolting against me. They both said they like heading up. Good swim hole. North up it is, and that's the way it should always be. Comment below. You guys run your boat on your GPS yeah. there. Head up or yeah. north up? Comment below. Comment below. I want, I want the truth. How many run north up or, or south? Heading, heading, heading up. Heading. Not course up. Yeah, Not course. Heading. Heading. Head up. All right. Get ready, Andrew. We'll find out the truth. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Mom's away. All right. Comment below. Heading up or north up? I always run north up. A chart does not change, north does not change, so that's why I should go north up. Oh boy. One big one. One big one. one. Ooh, a nice one. Oh! 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 Oh!
and that's exactly how I got it marked there. We'll relabel it like lost, so when the water cleans up and we can come look out here, we'll do that. Maybe come down and dive on it too. But we want to get that trap as close to that mark as possible. So we're 42 feet away now. We try to keep them within 10 feet. Three, two, one, go ahead. Uh, that's pretty close, two feet away at one point. All right, he's back in. On to number five. Sarah. So we bought some traps off Facebook Marketplaces for replacements and that's why all our buoys do not match now. And we do lose a few throughout the year, so. But this one's a double buoy. But just want to have that R written on the buoy for recreational so it's not commercial traps. So. That is the R there for recreational. Yeah, we should change that for that. Always got nothing. I guess neither one of them are keepers. No, no keepers. Claw. No keepers. A regenerated one. Back. All right. Yeah, that the epic crab season may be coming to an end here in uh, the end of March, early March. So we'll see. She's got a trip next week, and uh, an eco tour. She'll pull this recreational crab trap for people. So hopefully they still catch dinner, but it is not what it's been. But it's been a good run, so no complaints. We need all the help we can get. So that throat's broken there, and maybe some of the crabs are escaping that way. So you can put a new throat in it. And we always bring spare parts in here. So you got screws, screwdriver, a few throats, a few tags, a couple buoys. And just because you go through some gear doing this. It is still cheaper to buy them at their store, no doubt, than go doing them yourself. But give us something to do, something fun, and uh, you know, that's part of living here in the Keys. <laughs> It says 616 on it. That's Andrews? Yeah. Is that your area code? Yep. 616. 616. That was going next to our neighbor Andrews trap, which is like 75, 50 feet from our trap. So, here's Nick, what are you doing? That's my trap. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. There we go. Back to ours. This one's got some crabbage. Give us a good one. Now we're talking seven. And this crab has no claws and he's out there surviving, but he's got eight legs to, eight legs to eat with. Another one. Oh, two of them with no claws. So you guys, we do catch a lot with no claws out here every year. A lot of them do survive and the claw removal is a big part of that. Using the knife really helps reduce mortality. Little claw. Single little baby claw. Get big daddy out here. There you go, there's a nice one. Oh, fast. Have you been bit yet? No. Do you want to be? No. I don't either. Powered by two That's Hondas. So fast. <laughs> Look at that thing going by. It's an interesting looking boat. Weird looking. From Waterworld or something. Ah, uh, short. Close. Good eye, Nick. Oh, so we get close. one out of there in the end? Yeah, about that. It's going to be a few. Goodbye. Pop it up. I'm already missing a boat. Oh, God. Oh, Nick, oh. Are, you, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's one. There's one. Go over there. Oh, no. I was trying to film and I ran it over. Last one then. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, oh, the battery, the GoPro is not working right. I pulled the battery out, put it back in, we're drifting on the trap. I'm like, oh, I think we'll be fine. I put it in reverse. Like, chop it up? Chopped it up. And the line went down. Usually it's a floating polypropylene line and it floats, but there's so much algae and growth on it. It's not floating. I should just pick these pieces up. Yeah. At least the gaff sharp. Good shot. 
has not been our day. Yeah. Well, a few keepers. Another clawless crab. Sassy was no here. claws. Yeah. He's short. Was knife me. It's dull, kind of. <laughs> I'm rusty. Yeah, when was your last tetanus? The last one. So we're missing a few traps, cut off, and then I ran one over too. Googan move, but it happens. I'm trying to film and uh, just drift right over, and there it went. But we will come back at it hopefully the next couple days and dive it up here and put a new buoy on it. But we'll see you guys back at home. We're going to boil up the stone crab claws and uh, go from there. So we'll see you then. It's time to crack the crab claws. Usually three breaks. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a hard one. It's a thick shell. And you want to try to break it where you break it here in the middle of the knuckle then once back here on the back piece but you may squeeze like that and you don't want to shatter it's not too strong and claire's here sadie has a new best friend the last couple months and she's over at her house at ivy's that's a good one there and then the meat just peel that shell away and eat that meat but claire is here and she will devour the stone crab claws so we boiled them for about 10 minutes, 13 of them, a baker's dozen. We do have a sea trout on what's it, tomorrow, Thursday on Friday. We got a sea trout on the 28 Freeman, so keep that in mind. If you guys are interested or in the market to get a 28 Freeman, let us know. We'll take you out there and go run around, show you the boat, and uh, answer any of your questions about it. So, Like it might beep or something like that, yeah. She's leaving. We sold the 2021 42 Freeman. Made a lot of good memories on it. You know, did that first Bahamas trip with the kids back then and started with that. Then we ran charters on it for two and a half years. We got the new one last fall and this one has been for sale. It took a few months to sell, you know, a couple of deals fell through, but uh, she's going to a new home now. So happy and excited for the new owners. Hopefully they get to make some memories on it, but we put the brand new engines on it, you know, last fall and only 35 hours on them. All new seats and cushions. The boat was wrapped, so it's in pretty good shape. You know, if they uh, do a little wax on the outside there, they'll get it shining like brand new. But it's time to head north on it. They're gonna come pick it up in the next couple hours. The wind is blowing today, it's blowing. You can see the trees blowing about 20 to 25 knots. Mike's out fishing right now, Dawson the Broad-Minded. Yesterday they had a couple of guys from uh, South Africa, both get their first swordfish, that was cool. Check that one off the list. And they're out today, I know it's gonna be a lot rougher today, but hopefully they get one today too. And uh, it's time for this boat to go to its new home. So Sarah's uh, do the last couple of things and it'll be on its way. Big thanks to PV for keeping it here the last uh, month or so. And, and we got some gifts for the guys there. Got the hats for them and uh, some shirts, a little bit of stand swag. So hopefully they enjoy that. And can't wait to see some fishing pictures from them. And uh, they're gonna have a little bumpy ride going north today. I think they're going back towards Miami or a little north of there. But they'll get there. It's a 42 frame and it rides great. So. We will update you on those videos a little bit all over the place, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but that was uh, life the last couple of weeks here. So I'm laying low for a week or two, but we'll be out there fishing again soon. You guys having a race? No, we're just playing. You're just playing? What are their names? Um, this is Chickadoodle. Chickadoodle? This... No, no, actually Chicky. Chicky? And the, the mom's name is Peggy. <laughs> yeah. What's that one's name, Claire? The what's pink one, name? okay. What's her name? What's her name for? You can, maybe you can name her Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, that'll work. <laughs>